Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Ives number 8200 US 10 4x16 push plate. This is what the Ives 8200 looks like in a US 10 finish. Beautiful finish, as you can tell. US 10 may have fallen out of favor in the 90s and 2000s and the 80s, but it's elegance never goes out of style. Beautiful. Uh, this is going to mean, US 10 is going to mean three things. It's better to actually call it 612. It means three things. Made of solid bronze, satin finish with a lacquer applied. Very gorgeous piece of hardware. The 8200 also means that it is 50 thousandths of an inch thick, typical thickness of a kick plate. Uh, if you have a commercial kick plate, what I'm trying to say is would be 50 thousandths of an inch, 0 .050, just less than a sixteenth. The 8200 is available in multiple sizes, 3 by 12, 3 and a half, 15, uh, 4 by 16, such as this. 6x16 six and 8x16, 3.5x15, again 4x16, 3.5x15 and 4x16 six are the most common. People order 3.5x15 because they're less expensive. 4x16, same thing. I, I, I don't like a 4 inch size and much less a 3 and 3.5 three and inch size because the hand is just too large. You install this on a set of bathroom doors into a library, you're going to see wear marks over time because the plate is not narrow, uh, not large enough to fully cover it. But when you get to a 6 inch wide or an 8 inch wide, then you're really detracting from the look of the entire opening when you've got a large piece of architectural metal on the door. 3x12s are really used when you have a pair of elegant French doors, residential or commercial, uh, think of a uh, country club, a banquet hall, where you've got small styles and you physically can't fit anything large onto there so you'll go with a 3 by 12 that's typical. Uh, Ives can make any size necessary that you would like. Uh, can all be quoted literally any size that you would like. Available in different finishes three different base materials and several finishes. First of all the brass base material. I had said bronze earlier but this will be brass, architectural brass, bronze. US 3 for polished brass US 4 for satin brass, the US 10 for satin bronze, US 10B for oil rub bronze, US 15 for satin nickel, US 26 for polished chrome, US 26D for satin chrome. Then the second base material would be aluminum, which you could do a clear anodized finish. And then the third base material would be stainless steel, and they only list satin finish on there as stainless. I'm sure they could do polished as well. Uh, 629 finish, but they don't list it. Uh, the 32D, the stainless steel brushed, is available with an antimicrobial coating as well. Should you have an application like a hospital where you really need to retard the growth of bacteria on the surface of things that everyone touches, that'd be a common application for that as well. The balance of the extended description down below, size talks about the fact that it can be uh, made with Preparations for cylinders. Let's imagine if you had a classroom style deadbolt. Uh, school, an elementary school push plate, you've got a deadbolt on the door so that at night the custodial staff can lock it. But from the inside, you can't throw the deadbolt. You can only ever lock it from the, unlock it from the inside. You can have that drilled with a hole for the cylinder so you can set that through there. Ives can do engraving as well, like push and pull on things like this. Uh, if I haven't already mentioned it, there's a link below this video to the product brochure where I was able to uh, explain all of the um, items that I was referring to earlier. There's also a link to a document called installation instructions, which is really nothing other than they're saying mount this three quarter inch over from the end of the door. Depending on the frame type and the projection of the stop, you might want to tailor that better to suit your needs. Obviously, you'll want to be in compliance with ADA requirements. That's generally going to put you, you know, at about 40 inch from the bottom of the floor to a center line, something in that range. Um, they talk about tools required. Drill a 764 inch uh, pre-drill. 
screws are included. Those would be, uh, those are not, they're steel based, but they're a complementary finish, like a number six by three quarter inch oval head, oval undercut head is what those are. Okay. The link to the installation instructions talks about 50 inch from the bottom of the door to the center of the plate. That's Those installation instructions probably predate ADA code compliance in the early 1990s. So double check where you're going to install that material. A typical lock center line is going to be about 40 inch from the bottom to, to be ADA compliant. So keep that in mind. And then finally, there's a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the... Uh, Ives products that we sell, but a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to the full product catalog. I'm partial to Ives, and part of it is sentimentality. Myself and my family have been selling the Ives brand probably since the 1960s, and their name is quite synonymous with Truman Auxiliary Hardware, so you will find industry-wide accept acceptance of the name. Uh, pro tip, if you're looking for something where Ives does a phenomenal job I would click on the link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can see not only all the Ives products that we sell, a link to the manufacturer's website, but also a link to the catalog. And look in there for their center hung and offset pivots. Ives does a great job with that material. The installation instructions are very well written, very approachable and easy for someone to look at and digest the first time they're doing a pivot installation, which can be intimidating the first time. So pro tip on the Ives, look at their their um, center hung and offset pivots. If you have any questions on the Ives, number 8200 and a 4x16 US 10 satin bronze push plate or any other Ives product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.